In May and June 1940, Holland, Belgium, Norway, and France fell one by one to Germany, and Adolf Hitler started turning its target across the English Channel to Britain to deactivate Britain, a formidable obstacle in the German invasion of the Soviet Union. Despite being known as the strongest and best trained air force in the world at the time, the German Luftwaffe failed to cripple Britain's Royal Air Force in the Battle of Britain, forcing Hitler to change his strategy. That's when a heavy bombing campaign known as the Blitz, particularly targeting British cities, ports, and industrial areas, was ordered in an attempt to force Britain to surrender and decimate the morale of the British people. What is Blitz? The name Blitz, a short form of the German word Blitzkrieg, meaning lightning war, was a sustained campaign of air bombardment on civilian targets conducted by the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force. The Blitz began on the 7th of September 1940, when the German Air Force decided to change its bombing target from the British Air Force to London. Although London was the main target, other British cities and towns Belfast, Birmingham, Bristol, Cardiff, Clydebank, Greenock, Sheffield, Liverpool, Manchester, Portsmouth, Plymouth, Nottingham, Southampton, and especially Coventry, were also subjected to heavy bombing raids. The war was divided into three phases. Phase 1 By 4 p.m. on the 7th of September, nearly 1,000 German planes were crossing the English Channel in a formation that was 20 miles wide from airfields in France, making the first night of the Blitz. Their target was the heart of London, or the East End. The first wave of bombings saw 348 German bombers following the River Thames towards the U-shaped bend and dropping bombs on the London's docks that were surrounded by the heavily populated East End. The first air raid stopped at 6 p.m., and two hours later, led on by the fires from the first attack, the second wave of bombers approached with 300 bombers dropping high explosives and incendiary devices onto the already devastated East End and docks. In just one night, London suffered approximately 450 fatalities and around 1,500 injured. From the 7th to the 9th of September, London was subjected to round-the-clock bombing raids, causing further extensive damage and civilian casualties. Over the next few days, poor weather postponed the next main effort until the 15th of September, when the Luftwaffe made two massive daylight attacks on London. The first targeted the Battersea Railway Station on the West London Extension Railway in Battersea District, the link between London and the heavy industries of the West Midlands and other industrial cities in the north and southeast of Britain. The second target for the larger second attack during the afternoon would be the dock areas of the Thames Estuary. However, that same day, the RAF launched a vigorous counterattack shooting down 56 German aircraft in two dogfights that lasted less than an hour. Realizing that the Luftwaffe could not gain control of British airspace, Luftwaffe High Command decided to switch to night attacks. On the 14th of October, the heaviest nighttime raid saw 380 German bombers from Luftwaffe 3 hit London. The bombing air raids continued during October, causing the London docks and railways communications to suffer heavy pounding. Phase 2 From November 1940 to February 1941, the Luftwaffe shifted its strategy and attacked other industrial cities. The raid against Coventry, an important engineering and armament producing center, was especially devastating. From the 14th to the 15th of November, Coventry saw about 503 tons of high explosives and nearly 30,000 incendiary bombs dropped on the city. And in these hours of relentless bombardment, 568 people were killed and 850 seriously injured. Around 21 factories were seriously damaged, disrupting industrial output for several months. Besides Coventry, other cities such as Birmingham, Bristol, Southampton, and Liverpool were also subjected to hundreds of tons of bombs dropped. 
Probably the most devastating attack occurred on the evening of the 29th of December, when German aircraft attacked the city of London itself with incendiary and high explosive bombs, causing a firestorm that has been called the Second Great Fire of London. Civilian casualties on London throughout the Blitz amounted to more than 28,000 killed and 25,000 wounded. Final Attacks in 1941, the Luftwaffe shifted its bombing target to Britain's maritime resources. In a series of 46 raids between February and May, ports including Plymouth, Portsmouth, Bristol, Swansea, Merseyside, Belfast, Clydeside, Newcastle, and Hull were pounded heavily, although they still managed to function. Plymouth in particular because of its vulnerable position on the south coast and proximity to German air bases was subjected to the heaviest attacks. Many houses and commercial centers were heavily damaged and the electrical supply was knocked out. The last raid, also one of the worst, was carried out on the 11th through 12th of May 1941. Westminster Abbey and the law courts were badly damaged, while the chamber of the House of Commons was destroyed. One third of London's streets were impassable. All but one railway station line were blocked for several weeks. London suffered severe damage. However, many German bombers were also shot down by night fighters, proving the growing effectiveness of the RAF night fighter defenses and the weakened threat of German bombing. Aftermath The Blitz came to an effective close in May 1941 when Hitler decided to attack the Soviet Union with Operation Barbarossa, as the Luftwaffe did not have sufficient resources to conduct a two-front war. The Luftwaffe High Command recorded the loss of 2,200 aircraft over the British Isles, a quarter of them fighters, and one-third bombers. At least 3,300 Luftwaffe aircrew were killed, 2,600 missing, and 2,100 wounded. Total losses could have been as high as 600 bombers, 1.5% of the sorties flown. For the British, it is calculated that during the Blitz, together with enormous destruction of property, about 43,000 British civilians were killed, and another 139,000 were wounded. Despite causing unprecedented destruction and death, the Blitz had little effect on Britain's ability to continue in the war, failed in its immediate purpose of crippling British air power, and failed to corrupt the morale of British civilians. Instead, the war contributed to strengthening British determination to defeat Nazi Germany in later fights of World War II. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.